Good evening and welcome into Friday Night Football. Thanks for staying up late with us. I'm Seth Lewis, along with the newest member of our team, Sports Director. Andrew Clay. Yeah, thanks, Steph. I have, Seth, I have lived in places like <laughs> Pennsylvania and Virginia, but mm -hmm. I've heard there's nothing like Friday Night Football right here in Louisiana, so I can't wait to see how this show unfolds. Well, for your first week, you already got a pretty good taste of it, visiting Acadiana and Karen Crow. Yeah, what a matchup. The wrecking Rams and Bears. It was a battle of strength versus strength, and Acadiana's potent veer offense going against Karen Crow's stingy mm -hmm. defense. Now, Acadiana looking for its first win over Karen Crow since 2013 when the Rams won it all. But turnovers aren't going to help. On the first drive, Acadiana coughs it up. However, Karen Crow did the same thing two plays later. And that would set up this score. Ziggy Francis in the end zone. Rams strike first. Karen Crow trying to respond here. Quarterback Austin Bro back to pass. It's going to zip one to Desmond Johnny for the first down. Johnny on the spot. Then Bro buys himself time and finds Dion Senegal, who takes it across midfield. But the drive stalled out. Ensuing Rams possession, Dylan Monet finds a seam, and there he goes. Who said this is a three yards in a cloud of dust offense? Monet, one of the longest runs we've seen all year. This puts Acadiana on top 14-0, and they controlled it from there. The streak is over. Acadiana wins this one 48-13. The 48 points more than doubling their season total. The Rams move now to 3-0. Next week, they play New Iberia. Karen Crow plays Wash It All Parish. Now over at Cougar Stadium, STM taking on Plaquemine. Second quarter, Cougars up 14 to zero, but the Green Devils are on the move. Tar Trayvon LeBlanc is sacked by a host of Cougars. Third quarter, Cougars offense picking it up. First, it's Peyton Landry hitting Mason Pisson down the right sideline. He makes a few defenders miss and takes it inside the red zone. A few plays later, William Cryer. Up the middle for the touchdown, 21-0 STM, and later it's more than the Cougars. It's going to be Landry hitting Jean-Luc LeBlanc, and the crossing route, then it's Chris Primo from the Wildcat. Well, let's, let's get there. He's going to get there. Here comes the play from the Wildcat, and that's going to put it in the end zone, making it 28-0 STM. They win 35-0. to zip. Now Lafayette at home tonight hosting Patterson. Lions seeking their first win of the year. The center quarterback exchange though dooming the Lumberjacks. The chaos leaving Patterson with a third and forever up 15 to 10 in the second quarter. And Randy Paul Jr. cool as a cucumber in January. Pumps and fires. His man is wide open. Wow. Dewan Richard will take it to the house. Lumberjacks up 11 but they would turn it over right before the half, and that gave the Lions one last shot. Under 10 seconds to go, Brennan Broussard throws it up the end zone. Kanan Leon, great concentration into the end zone. The improbable catch sends Lafayette into the half down 21-16, but the comeback comes up short as Patterson holds on the win 35-30. Traditional Acadiana Powers, Turlings and Notre Dame have rolled over their competition in the early going, 130-51. to 51. This game for the Rebels and Pioneers serving as their first true test of the season. Former Turlings QB Hayden Cantrell and his Rebel baseball teammates receiving their state championship rings at halftime. We started in the third quarter, Rebels trailing 23-7 and trying to get something going, but Wesley Blazik is intercepted by Cameron Nelson, and that would set up the Piles in great position. Noah Bourgeois easily scooting his way in from 20 yards out, and it's 30-7 to Notre Dame. Later in the third, Blazik trying to make something shake. Instead of going to the air, he's going to do some scrambling with his legs. That is going to give Turlings a first down, but a couple plays later, Stevens and a host of Pios are going to get to Blazik for the sack to stall the drive. And then in the fourth quarter, it's going to be Waylon Bourgeois capping things off with a three-yard score. Notre Dame runs away with this one, 44-7. to How about Crowley? Fired up for a road bout against Cecilia. First quarter, the Bulldogs land in Lalong. 
connects with Lance Williams on the first down, and that would eventually set up Devin Briscoe, who's going to burst out of the cannon for this 40-yard touchdown, and it's going to be 7 nothing no Cecilia. Decides. Absolutely. Late in the first, the gents, Paul Dugar, rolling out of the pocket, and he's going to find Chris Lewis down the sideline for the 40-yard gain. Andrew, I said anyone with the name Seth Lewis, I'm claiming as a cousin, so that was my cousin that caught that just cool, there. Cool. That would lead to Dugar working his magic to score a touchdown to begin the second. A two-point conversion makes it 8-7. to seven. Gentlemen, my favorite nickname. Later in the second, so nice. So, formal. so nice. Cecilia's Lalong setting up the screen for Caleb Carter, who takes it inside the 10. That would lead to a Bulldogs field goal to take the lead back, but in the end, it's the gentleman taking a bow with a 28 to 25 victory. Eunice down in the Frog Capital rain for this one. First quarter, Eunice is Jaden Brazo looking deep down the field, but he is picked off by Trent Winbush, and the Wolves would eventually capitalize. Winbush is going to come around on this sweep and around the left side and in, and it is. And the T PAT would fail, though, so it would be a 6-0 lead for Rain. Later, it's more Rain. First, it's Darian Richard on the QB keeper around the left side. He breaks a few tackles and is off, and they are not going to get him, except they do. He's going to be caught right uh, at the three-yard line. Uh, uh. A few plays later, though, it's Darian Harmon, a part of that headed backfield monster taking the pill around the right side and in for the touchdown two-point conversion made it 14 to nothing wolves rain would win it 42 to 10 over units a lot of blowouts here tonight Absolutely. now if you miss any scores make sure you check out the ticker on the bottom of your screen brought to you by Popeyes we're one quarter down three left to go including an Iberia Parish classic between Westgate and New Iberia but first it's top squad time brought to you every week by Cox Communications yourself in a tough position. 